All right, guys, Shoddy T here with another video talking about the Crimson um, Plague. So, so got a couple of modifications from the original video. Like I said, we're all learning this, and I'm by no means saying that I have it all figured out with this particular video, but at least it's going to provide a little bit more direction, especially pertaining to this week's objectives that's really pretty much what the main focus is right now so in my original video i had said that in order to increase your virus resistance that you would need to upgrade your professions that has nothing to do with that uh, the professions level increases basically affects these thresholds so i just reached level 10 so that way i unlock this so that'll be something pretty cool to have all right so how you increase your virus resistance is by upgrading your virus research institute. So right now mine is at level 11. So the way that you upgrade that is with the proteins. All right. And in order to get the proteins, you have to form them from your protein forms. So. I want to talk about this part real quick. It's going to be this is going to be a pretty long video, so get your popcorn ready cuz I want to make sure that everyone fully understands what's going on because right now I'm seeing a lot of mistakes as we speak. So, I want to try to put this video out uh to minimize uh the mistakes. So, I want to I want to make sure I'm helping people with their rallies. So, I might occasionally go there during the video. So, these protein farms, there's one that you can gain with the weekly pass exclusive. It's $4.99. It's totally optional if you want to get it. You don't have to have that to increase higher. I just choose to do it because, again, I think it had like a good value um, on this. Like I said, it's $4.99. So, um, so you don't have to have it. But if you don't, if you're free to play completely, don't worry about it. What you want to do for optimal uh, building utilization is that you take your protein form one, you get it to level 10. I mistakenly got it to level 13. Again, I didn't know what I was doing because when you get it to level 10, you will unlock. You'll see another you'll see an icon that pop up to unlock the protein form two. So and it kind of tells you um, what you it kind of tells you. The, the criteria if you if I had looked there earlier so you get this to level 10 to unlock protein form 2 and then when you get that to level 10 which again I forgot it to level 11 when you get that to level 10 you upgrade to protein 3 and at the time I didn't know I thought protein form 3 would be the top dog so I started focusing on that but then when I got that to 10 I realized oh another slot just opened up or protein four. So ever since then, I've been focusing on protein four for future upgrades. So obviously, uh, it's just higher. So in order to upgrade your protein farms, you need the mutant crystals. So how do you get the mutant crystals? We talked about that in the original video. So the mutant crystals, you get them from killing zombies and not just any zombies you have to do it on first kill zombies like going back to fighting zombies that you've already beat you're not going to get any new zombie crystals so like just for example like i've already beat level 26 but if i go back and do it again this is this it told it tells you what the potential rewards are so you're not going to mysteriously get mutant crystals by going back a level you have to keep advancing otherwise you're just wasting stamina so you have to keep going as high as possible until you die and then you get infected and then you get healed by your teammates but dying is not a bad thing because i purposely died to get my infection level all the way up to 80 stacks because what it does eventually and we'll and i'll talk about that later i want to do one thing at a time like i said it's gonna be a long video so what you want to do is get as high as you can with the individual zombies and and in order to increase the zombie difficulty let me see if i can do this for example it tells you 
what your virus resistance requirements are. Just because you don't meet the requirement don't mean you can't fight it. Because that was another thing I mentioned in that original video. You can fight it. It's just that your damage uh, is going to be decreased. And in this case, it's going to be decreased by 64%. So another little nugget uh, to be aware of is that each of these zombies are by class type. So if you guys remember from, I probably had a video, several videos back where I talked about the rock, paper, scissors concept. So when for tanks, that's your rock. The scissors is your missiles and the aircraft is your paper. And remember I said rock beats scissors. So tank beats um, uh, missiles and also... Uh, missiles beat aircraft and aircraft beats um, tank so because my strongest team by far is my tank I pretty much still have to go with that team throughout because if I go to my aircraft team I'm probably not going to get level 27 completed but all that means is that when I do the aircraft zombie it's going to be a little bit more difficult than the tank and the missile zombie so I'm going to see if I'm able to take down this 27, because uh, I don't think I've attempted this yet, at least with full power, because my power has been diminishing all day with my troops, but I did replenish them just a little bit. So let's see. Okay, so I can take that down now, but as you can see, I got infected pretty good. Uh, but let's let's see. Let me just uh, see, because I kind of get an idea how much I have to heal to see if I can go higher. So yeah, 37 minutes. That's a pretty big heal. That means I nearly died with that 27. So I definitely won't be able to do a 28. But I got a first kill bonus with the mutant crystals. So again, if I go back and do the 27 again, I won't do that. I won't get those same rewards. I'll get, I'll get this now. So you have to keep progressing. Otherwise, you are wasting stamina. All right, so so that's one thing. Another thing are the Doom Elite. Same thing. You have to progress one at a time. I know I cannot do a 20. I've already tried it, so I'm not going to waste stamina in this video because even uh, you need you need teammates that are that have high 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 virus resistance in order to take stuff down. But let's go from the beginning. You. Everyone starts at level one. You get a first kill bonus for taking down a level one. And then once you take the level one down, you don't get the same first kill rewards by taking down level one again. These are the only potential rewards. As you can see, there are no crystals. There are no protein, nothing. This is all you get. Like first kill rewards look just like that in, in some form or fashion. So... After you do level one, there's no need. There's no need to go back to level one. You go to level two. You beat level two. You go to level three. All right. You just keep doing it. You just keep doing it one at a time until you can't do it anymore. But as you accumulate more of those mutant crystals, then you go back to your farm and upgrade your buildings. All right. And make sure you collect um, whenever you can. You don't want it to get maxed out. I'm not sure where it maxes out at, so I just do it every time you get on the game. And then once you get enough of the protein crystals, then you go to your Virus Research Institute and upgrade. So that way your virus resistance increases. So my next um, virus increase threshold is at 2250. I believe I got 250 built in somewhere. I'm not sure if it has something to do with my profession because I'm already at 2250 so um so i'm not sure if if it was something that i got that gave me an extra 250 uh virus resistance from the beginning but anyway so that's how you increase your virus resistance that's a total correction from the last uh the original video but everything else is pretty um accurate all right so another thing are these viruses so as you attack uh these uh zombies especially ones that are that you don't have complete virus resistance against you will get infected so the infection has different stages so actually let me just show you this here they got the icons at the top and these are buffs or debuffs so if you have stacks of viruses that are from zero to 20 
that means you you're going to just have a hospital stay roughly every four to five minutes one unit becomes injured but they don't die they just go to the hospital okay so that's so at least that's at least that doesn't mean they're gonna die so so that's that's the cool thing all right so you don't have to worry about getting in there but once you get to level 20 once you get 20 virus stacks on you then what happens at that stage and it won't let me click there we go your morale gets low. So that means that the damage that you deal is at a minus 4%. So if you're trying to do rallies, trying to increase your Doom Elite difficulty or trying to increase your zombie difficulty, you don't want to have your zombie stacks. You don't want to have your infection stats at 20. So you want to utilize your teammates. And you kind of saw that during this video. Use your teammates to get your infection level down. Because you don't, especially if you're trying to increase your difficulty, you don't want to be infected too much. You don't want to have people in the hospital. You don't want to have people, you don't want to have diminished diminished attacks. So make sure that you use that. But if you're trying to purposely get infected, there's a, a, a strategy to this. Once you get to 40, your enemy unit casualty rate is plus 4%. So this is something to implement whenever you get to server war or um, enemy buster when you're facing different opponents. So if you're infected, it, it doesn't affect your uh, fighting capacity against other humans. Uh, it, it'll probably affect the, the negative 4%, but overall, you'll, it makes up for it by killing them at a 4% rate. OK, then once you get to level six, as you can see, his face is starting to turn halfway. Now the virus stats carried by troops increased by 11 percent when they march out. So earlier I was super infected. All right. So and I probably oh, what is this here? Let me go ahead and collect this. Keep in mind, like I said, I'm going to be casually doing some stuff while we're on occasionally when you kill a zombie one of these resource things will pop up sometimes it might be coins sometimes it might be food sometimes it might be uh iron like the standard stuff but sometimes it might be mutant crystals sometimes it might be protein so that's another reason why you want to keep fighting those zombies because you might get one of those pop up but as you can see i kind of did a little shoddy infection i infected a lot of folks here by going over the place I think I kind of, if you see some big number, that means I probably infected them. So I infected quite a bit of people. I didn't zero them because I want them to stay there. And that's a, another thing. I mean, that's like a beginning game level. You don't want to zero folks, especially if they're giving you good resources or missions. So anyway, so you do that. You increase the virus stats as you carry when you're going out. Then once you get to 80, even if you lose, there's an 8% chance like if someone beats you, there's 8% chance that you will still infect the enemy. So, again, that can be a countermeasure thing you can do against other people, uh, especially if you're shielded during enemy buster or or if you or if you decide to fight someone or if you leave yourself unattended, you can at least have yourself be infected. So that way you infect the opponent and make them use resources. Not probably not the best strategy to go there, but I want to make sure I at least got unlocked that 80 because if you don't reach that, you're not, it's not unlocked. But the most important thing is that it helps you reach your goals quicker. As you can see, I spread the virus over 2,100 times. So when I got my stacks up to like 80 plus, every time I infected someone, I get, I had it 37 stacks. So as you can see, I, I went through a lot of attacks just to get that. And also curing your teammates gives you some milestones to hit. And also being infected gives you milestones. So you, so you want to get you want to get infected. You want to spread the infection. You want to get cured. You want to cure others. So that's the whole name of the game. But the most important thing is getting that virus resistance because the importance of that is as you can see here, we have taken over this stronghold. Taking down these strongholds are not easy because they require a minimum virus resistance. Let's look at this stronghold, for example. This stronghold, and we kind of started on this. Um, 
This one requires 2,800 virus resistance, but the damage dealt penalty is minus 40%. We could probably take this if we wanted to, but it's not beneficial for us to go up and down. We'll rather go uh, left to right. So our next goal is to take down a level two, but as you can see, the difficulty is a little bit higher. Virus resistant required 3,800 damage dealt minus 82%. So in order for me, in order for us to be able to take this down, that means as a team, not individual, because this is a team game, the virus resistance has to get higher. So again, how does it get higher? We know the answer. Doom elites, zombies, not the same level, increasing in your difficulty and harvesting those rewards in the form the protein form and in the virus research institute to increase your virus resistance so that is the name of the game uh this this may that's the that's the that's the that's going to be the at least the underlying objective throughout there are going to be side missions all right so you got side missions that are going on let's see that's just going to be another mission that's going to start in an hour and a half. And remember, I had talked about genetic combination. Didn't know what that was. Well, we're going to find out in an hour and a half. So I'll probably put a video about that tomorrow. But right now, our goal is to, let's see, let's see, our milestones. We need to kill nine more of these uh, corrupted zombies in the strongholds. So we'll get that before this time expires. But we also need to capture another corruptor in the next hour uh, in the next day i mean so so that's the reason why we're trying to work hard tonight so we can get as many people as virus resistant as possible by implementing this so that way we can progress further towards the middle because it's only going to get stronger it's only going to get more difficult let's look at level three stronghold 4,800 resistance. See, right now, if we tried to do that, I would do no damage. 90, minus 99.4%. So, you got to start with the fundamentals. The fundamentals is the key to the game. You still got the verses to worry about. So, you just kind of got to add this to, the, to it. Whenever you get to this, I realize most people are not at this stage in their servers. Some guys might have already had this mode done. I know some people voice their displeasure about it, but I know the game, I think it, it evolves to try to make the player experience a little bit better. I've heard them making some potential changes that might take place Wednesday to make to make the optimization gameplay a little bit better. Let me see about this rally real quick. Let me go ahead and jump. See, all right, I'm going to have to, yeah, because that's the same rally. So this person has already done level seven, level seven rallies. So they need to go to the next level, but hopefully this video will will, uh, will make it. But let me go ahead, and, go ahead and at least heal them while we're here. All right, so so we'll talk about the other stuff uh, moving forward. But the fundamental stuff is to gain your virus resistance, increase your difficulty in the zombies, and you'll be able to take them down. Like these zombies are not difficult to take down what makes it more difficult is the virus resistance. And I'm just teaching you guys how to increase your virus resistance. So that way you can take down higher difficulty zombies, take down higher difficulty doom elite. So that way you can get more resources to upgrade your buildings and your virus research Institute. So that's going to do it guys. I know there's some other stuff that I didn't cover in general, but that's, the, the main theme that's going to keep going throughout this season and you have to kind of you have to you have to you have to catch up you have to keep up otherwise you will fall behind but anyway guys uh, like share comment subscribe and comment below all right what do you what are your opinions on this all right and hit that bell notification